So this is our big grow out. So we have 10,000 plants in here. 10,000 CBD producing hemp plants that Paul Elvstrom, CEO and founder of Wheatfield Gardens, is hoping by 2022 could transition to recreational cannabis for a budding New York market still in development. There are estimates out there that between four and five million square feet of uh, canopy like this is going to be needed to uh, meet the demand. Demand that's expected to generate as much as $350 million in state tax revenue, but won't happen if the state cannabis agency and its regulatory board isn't set up. You know, we were thrilled by the passage of the law, but then, you know, that was step one. And then this just waiting period has been somewhat stressful and it has really prevented investment. But in the past seven days, things have started rolling. Three appointments have been made to the Cannabis Control Board, two by Governor Hochul and a third Wednesday picked by the Assembly Speaker, Buffalo Attorney Adam Perry of Hodgson Russ. Once three other members are chosen. And then the regulations should be out within the next 12 weeks after that. So we are right on schedule to make sure that uh, farmers are farming next spring and dispensaries could open up about a year from now. We want to, uh, of course, see more and, and see it faster, but we're encouraged that these first steps were taken and we want to participate in any way we can and, and help uh, crafting um, regulations that make sense. Regulations that will include equity programs, sustainability standards and rules for home growing, each of which Wheatfield Gardens hopes to play a role. So that all New Yorkers, small farmers, big farmers can benefit from this. In Wheatfield, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.